Welcome to the second part of our tutorial on how to make an Ankara bikini swimsuit. So stay tuned, please like, share and subscribe. So if that's the video you want to watch, first we need our fabric, an Ankara fabric, then we need a lining. You draw the base, that's the starter point, one inch. Then our length, we're using a length of 10 inch. I'm using 10 inch for our waist to our hip is 9 inch. Then I added 1 inch for ease because it's not a stretchy fabric. I'm using a waist of 40 divided by 4. Then I removed 3 inch for my elastic or if you want an extension which I removed and which I removed 3 inch. So I'm using a waist of 7 inch. Then for my VJ I'm using 4 inch divided by two which is two inch there i added half an inch for ease so that's my 2.5 inch then for the placing of my rule i'm using a curve rule see the way i placed my curve rule take note of how i place the curve rule in the front is not the same with the back so this is how i place the curve rule and i did my marking for my front so this is the back as usual half an inch one inch for my extension then I use 15 inch because of my bum bum so that's why I'm using 50 inch for my length then the VJ as usual is 2.5 inch see how I place the curve for my drawing Do you see how i placed my curve row i placed it the inverted way from the front so that's how i did my front for my uh pattern so i'm done with my pattern i placed my lining first after the lining i placed my fabric and the pattern drafting then i did my cutting the omission here that i didn't do in my pattern drafting is for my waist i did remove 0 0.5 inch for the margin which i did when i'm cutting i remove 0 0.5 inch so that it can sit perfectly on the waist so there's no omission for the back the back you have to cut through all round so that's it for the pattern drafting for my pants so let's go now to our pinning our stitching and our ironing so after cutting so these are my fabric we have the lining for the front and we have that's the lining for the front and the fabric for the back same with the lining and the fabric so we're done with that now then these are my extension my extension i'm using two inch by seven inch for my extension and i'm using eight extensions so depend on the pattern if you just want four extension you can for me i'm using uh, two by seven inch and i'm using eight pieces for my extension okay so now i'm going to pin lining to lining and fabric to fabric now i'm using an uh, cloth lining and using a lining a cloth lining for that matter because the first let me explain why i'm using the lining the lining is to absorb heat so that's why i'm using the lining so that's it for the one so let's pin now i'm going to pin my extension to my fabric after pinning my extension to my fabric i'll pin it round the demarcation for my extension is just one inch is one inch i used for my demarcation i'll pin my extension first to my fabric then cover it up with the lining then i'll pin together then i'm going to sew i'll sew it all around lead just little opening on the top side so that's it i'm done with my sewing now so this is how it looks like when i'm done with my sewing so that little opening that's what i will use to bring it out i'm done with my sewing now i'm bringing it out from the little opening 
so after bringing it out from the lid to opening i'm going to iron it now you see now that it's not looking smooth and clear so, but after ironing it you see how it looks like i'm going to iron it after ironing it i'm going to top stitch the remaining opening that side i left open i'm going to top stitch it and make it look nice so that's it for my pant remember i said i use uh, a lining because lining can absorb it and if we are using a lining it will make my pant not to tear or wear out easily and it can make it last long so that's why i'm using a lining for my pant so that's it for my sewing please like share and subscribe to this channel for more video i would love to see your own version of your pants or your akara bikini so thanks for watching this far i love you i'm going to place it on the mannequin so let's see how they all look like so that's it on the mannequin so this is the upper part and this is the down part for my akara so thanks for watching this far subscribe share